Hello and welcome to our new video. If you haven't seen us before, basically we built this camper van. We went traveling for over a year looking for a place to settle down. Then we bought this place in Portugal and now we're going to do a virtual walkthrough. For a little bit of a background, last year we bought this property in central Portugal and one of the reasons we, we bought this property is because it came with an approved project of a house that was ready to be built. We've seen the actual planning permission that's been submitted and it's, it's an absolute book. It was like that thick in terms of paperwork. The previous owner were, was kind enough to put us in touch with the architect who's actually designed this house. We got in touch with the architect, we asked him about the project and whether it would be possible for him to send us the, the project files just so we can see what we're working with, whether it is actually a house that we do want to build in the future. But before I get to that, once we purchased the land, we wanted to sort of draw out a map and kind of figure out a plan for, for the land um, and for that to, to happen we needed like a top-down map view and the easiest way to actually do it is to go on Google Maps and sort of measure distance from here to there it tells you there this is 65 meters then you can sort of finish the, the, the whole land like that and measure it roughly and this is exactly what I did to start with. I got the measurements off here, then I went onto this software called Smart Draw, and I've outlined the whole, whole land, plus the trees, just to see what we're dealing with and what we have to work around uh, within our plans. Uh, and as you can see, we knew roughly where the house would be within the plans. This was the initial design, so as you can see, there's a workshop. There's a space for two campers, two camper vans. There's our caravan, the solar setup, the greenhouse, outside kitchen, outdoor shower, pool, and three cabins. And this was sort of our initial plan slash vision that we had whilst walking on the land and thinking what could happen with it, what we could do in the next five to 10 years. But in the meantime, as we were doing that, we've also approached the architect uh, asking him for, for the proper files. The architect has provided us not only with the map actually outlining the whole land, he's also sent us the 3D renders of the house. And as soon as we seen them, we knew, yeah, this is, this is what we're building. We need to make this happen. We never even considered building a house was a possibility for us. But when we seen these renders, we knew, yeah, we want to do this uh, and we're going to make sure that within our plans we're going to incorporate this design of the house that's that's already been been designed and approved and this is the initial render and as you can see you've got the road there you've got the neighbors and then you've got the house divided into sort of three different parts with a small pool and it's all south facing sort of towards the big garden this house is perfect for us on so many levels. It's got three bedrooms, three bathrooms, two kitchens, two living rooms. As you can see here, this is what the architect has sent us. So it's a few different views, different designs, different maps. And we're really grateful that he has sent this because it's, it's helped us in our plans for the rest of the property. So as you can see here, we've got the house outlined and it's only a very small part of the actual land. I think the house plus the decking is around 230 meters squared and the rest of it is unused and we want to start with actually using the, the rest of the land first and then building the house within let's say five, five years would be perfect if we can make that happen. Having this topography map we were able to transfer that into the software that's called real-time landscape architect. By no means I'm an architect or I have any experience with landscaping, but out of all the softwares that I've sort of looked at, including SketchUp and some more complicated 3D software, this was by far the easiest one. So out of that map, we were able to create this, which sort of follows the, follows the original map. It's drawn to scale. 
so as you can see we've got all the trees outlined we've got the house we've got the access road here you've got the caravan and then we've got the cabins there the solar array and stuff like that so this was great just from a 2d perspective looking at this was amazing because it gave us a bit of more of a of an idea of the space we're working with but what's really amazing about the software is you can go into this view where you get even more of a of an idea of what you're working with this really helps us visualize the place and i'm, I'm just going to walk you through our our initial vision that we had whilst walking on the land this is the land so what we want to do first is get get like an access road sorted so we don't get stuck in mud as we did last year then we want to put a fence up sort of in the middle of the property one reason for that being is because we're going to be utilizing this part of the property first but also we've got a dog and so we're going to put a fence with a gate and then we're going to start focusing on this part of the land so one of the priorities for us is um, building a workshop slash garage which is going to go here here at the end of the property another idea we have we really want to implement is having the space for two camper vans obviously we've traveled in a camper van for over a year you know we've, we've met the greatest people doing that and these sort of really small private properties were one of the best ones we've stayed at during our trip so we would love to return that favor and you know have a place for two campers step two is a solar array we've been back and forth to the land a few times we were trying to observe the land uh, in terms of where the sun is at what time of the day what about the shadows so we came up with this very central position to start with obviously you can see there's a tree here which i think we are planning to get rid of this was a great spot to start with when we were there at the end of september but then the winter came and we realized these two eucalyptus trees are causing quite a lot of shadows on in this particular space so we might have to rethink that or maybe we're gonna to have to raise the solar array or we're not sure this is something we're going to figure out when we're there having the caravan and the solar array is going to provide us with you know the basic necessities to be able to stay there all the all the greenery here that's eventually going to be our garden that's going to allow us to feed ourselves feed our families we know it's a long process we know it's going to take time that's why we want to start early just so in a few years we're not starting from scratch then we want to start now and then moving on to kind of this back little corner here this is where we really want to want to build something special and be able to have this as a as a place for guests our our family our friends we're having a little outdoor toilet slash shower here an outdoor kitchen of some sort this isn't the final design this is just a rough estimate of where it's going to go how big it's going to be behind there we want to build two tiny houses we're going to start with one and see how it goes see if you know what are the planning permissions what are the issues that we might be facing and see if we can actually get that done initially this will be where we're going to live so after living in a caravan hopefully we're going to upgrade to a tiny house and then build our main house and once we are living in our main house we can have this as a guest house initially and as i said this would be a place where we can invite friends family and maybe also have it as another revenue stream that's it really in terms of our plan this obviously is our dream plan it's uh it's something we are visualizing and trying to work towards i'm sure on the way we're going to encounter challenges there's going to be problems that we'll need solving there's going to be bureaucracy that we're going to need to get past but that's the fun of it this is an endless money pit but with a great reward at the end of it i hope this video is going to help you in a way in case you know you've got a vision that, that you've got in your head and you want to translate that into into a 3d space i really found this software to be useful at that it only took me a few days to learn it to put that on on, on paper to draw it out and then to see it in 3d space do let me know in the comments if you would like any sort of tutorials on this software. By no means I'm an expert, but if there's anything I can help you with, I will. So let me know in the comments. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.